Hey there! In previous videos you probably noticed I used a paint called a Sterlan Mud. And this is basically a paint where you put it down and it's got little chunks of, uh, little fine chunks of stuff. Ooh. So you can see here there's like little, little bits of dirt and whatnot. And it comes out looking like, um, like dirt. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, I noticed that I, I need quite a lot to do some terrain pieces and this isn't enough. So uh, we're going to go and make a lot of it and uh, we'll get into it. So this is what this is what it'll end up looking like. You can see here this is just my excess and uh, I had previously made it but I've I've just run out. So um, so yeah, uh, basically I'm going to be using this paint for some terrain pieces that I'm intending to work on in the, some videos after this. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so I've just filled up this uh, little Chinese food container with a bunch of sand and that's only just so I can access it and I don't have to run outside and fill it up and, and grab more and, and whatnot. We're actually going to be making, uh, we're going to be making this paint in just a two tub of um, like an ice cream container. I'm going to go clean this out right now just so uh, it's nice and clean. Uh, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and I've just cleaned it out and there's a little bit of uh, specks in there but that won't be too much trouble. Um, I've gone and used just uh, warm water and just washed it out with my hands. So it's really easy to get off if you absolutely have to. Uh, we're going to be relying on PVA and, and sand, believe it or not. And we're also going to be using a paint to uh, get the colour of the brown. Now we can use any kind of paint pretty much, um, any kind of colour, but I'm going to be using this, uh, this here acrylic and I've gone and bought this from um, Spotlight for about four dollars I think so this was about four dollars I've gone and bought this from uh, some art shop for ten dollars and there's quite a lot here as a leader um, so yeah we're gonna combine all three of these together and if you don't have already a bunch of uh, icy pole sticks I, uh, I advise you have some because they're really not only awesome to uh, make things with but they're also a great tool to apply things and, and just you know, keep your hands from getting too dirty. I'm gonna get some ice cream sticks. So yeah, I also bought a whole heap of ice cream sticks, or icy pole sticks, whatever you want to call these. Tongue depressors, I think, is the medical term. And uh, we're just gonna use this to actually stir the thing. And um, you want to make sure your ice cream container is not too deep, otherwise you're gonna be getting messy every time you stick your hand in there. Um, so yeah, let's just, uh, let's get going. So I'm gonna uh, put in, I think I'll put the sand in first. And I don't want to make too much of a mess. Also, the finer the sand, the better, because um, it'll uh, look more real. Because if we're working with a lower scale model, the um, the finer the sand, the the better. Like if you have it, if you have too thick a sand, it ends up looking like rather large uh, pebbles or stones. So if you're looking for gravel, then a larger sand would be better. But this is the finest sand I could find at uh, my local Bunnings. And if you saw previously, the bag that I have is, uh, I think it's 10, 10 kilos. So I, that was the smallest bag I could find. Uh, so I've just gone and grabbed uh, two handfuls here. And you can see I've just chucked it in at the bottom. And we're going to work with that to begin with. So with the PVA glue and the paint, um, open because I want to use a lot. Uh, PVA is great. Here we go. So there's no real measurement that I'm using here. I'm just uh, just gonna go because I want to kind of get I want to get quite a bit, uh, quite a quite a bit of um, dirty paint here to use. So I'm just mixing it in right now, and we want it to be loose enough to be flowing. So it'll look like a melted ice cream, and yeah, we really want it to be consistent. So I haven't added, I haven't added enough here. 
I really don't have any measurements here for you, but the, uh, the it comes down to what you want to do. If you want to um, have a really liquidy state of dirt, it'll end up looking a bit more like mud as opposed to dirt. Obviously, it'll dry, dry, but uh, you can make it look less lumpy the more PVA you put in. Now, this is a really cool thing because right now, technically, I could just use it as it is. If I really wanted to use like a, a get a cement kind of uh, look, my sand just happens to look a bit cementy. Um, you could use this and you could apply it, and it would look amazing. And uh, where's my lid? I've lost my lid. Oh, it's right in front of me. How blind am I? So, um, <laughs> if I wanted to, I could technically apply this. And you can see the difference in colour when I do. Very snotty. But when we spread it out a bit, you can see that it's, uh, it's very gross looking. We want it to look like this. But this looks like cement, so I could easily use this for a cement. And we're just going to keep mixing. Now I'd also like to add, having it in the ice cream container means that we can close the lid on it and it won't dry up and we can come back and use it whenever we want. Now we want it lumpy and bumpy, so if we want to uh, add more sand, you can at any time. Um, I really want to get it as dirty as I can. I don't want it too runny. Because, yeah, like I said, if you want it to look very smooth, and like a uh, wet mud kind of, then um, you add more PVA. So that's, I'm kind of happy with that right now. Now I'm going to add my brown. This is just a, uh, I don't even think it's got a color. Yeah, it doesn't say what color it is. It's just a brown. It's kind of like a chocolatey brown. So we're just going to chuck that in. Now with the PVA, uh, PVA is going to... Um, that's quite a bit of brown I've just added. PVA is going to make the brown lighter. So if you're not happy with the brown that you have, you can add other paints and mix them together. Um, I'm pretty happy with this brown, to be honest. But I do have a feeling it might end up lighter than when I first applied it. So I might add a black paint and the black really does hit it hard. So I might not add like a crazy amount of black. Whoa. So that's actually starting to look like a bit of a chocolatey, chocolate ice. It, look kind of, it actually looks like a mousse or something. It does look quite edible right now. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I'm gonna add black just a little bit. First, I have to find the black. So I got the same kind of paint here from Spotlight again, and uh, I've used a lot of this already. So I really, I really don't need a lot to uh, influence the the color. If I'm going to get any out of this, come on. Here we go. There we go. Oh. There we go. We'll see how much that does. I would like to add that if you leave this paint lying around, the sand will actually sit to the bottom of the container and the paint and the glue will separate from the top. But all it'll need is just a quick stir and it'll be as good as new. It's getting pretty close, so if I use this as the base, you can see how light it is compared to my other brown that I had. But this is a nice colour, you could definitely work with this. I would like to have it a little bit darker, just because I like to put highlights through the, uh, through the dirt. And like I said, this really is, it comes down to your preference. So if you want it to be um, light, I mean, you could have kept it as it was. You could put different colors in if you wanted to make it a otherworldly kind of dirt. I may have added too much black there. That's okay. Oh, it's pretty close, it's pretty close. Now it will dry darker, just because it is wet at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more sand. 
So it was a uh, half handful. It's not the brown that I'm looking for. I'm just gonna add a little bit more brown and hopefully we can leave it at that. It's not too much difference from the uh, original brown that I first made. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, when we go and apply this kind of stuff, uh, if you apply it straight up, it's gonna come out uh, pretty gross looking. So we're gonna have to thin it out. And when, the thinner you put it, the, uh, the more sand you'll be able to see. That's really great. Um, yeah, you can see how it's coming out a little bit more lumpy. So the more you work on that, the better it'll look. You can also put like tracks through it if you wanted to uh, make something look like it's been driving through it. It's really great because the uh, the PVA sets and um, it sets exactly how you've done it. So yeah, as long as you, you keep an eye on it and the thinner it is, the better. You can always add more coats to it. So yeah, that's this paint. And uh, <laughs> I hope you and I enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to uh, like comment and subscribe. I'm going to be using this paint here in future videos so stick around and we'll be making some terrain. I'd just like to add if you want to support me uh, on Patreon you can head on over there and pledge a couple dollars per video and uh, you can uh, get some exclusive content over there which is basically the 3D printed models that I don't release on Thingiverse and you can also get some behind the scenes action. So uh, yeah head over there and, and pledge a couple dollars and, and I'll be eternally grateful for, for your help. Anyway, I'll catch you around and thanks for watching. See ya!